Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I like to post about books and music, mostly Taylor Swift. Today I'm going to be reacting to Billie Eilish's newest album. I feel like I need to disclaim the fact that I am not in my moment right now. I can't figure out. I am going through it. Last month something happened that I'm not ready to talk about. It was really rough. I cried for like a week, but it's not, it's not a huge deal. It wasn't the end of the world. I'm working on fixing it. It was only something that had to do like just with me. And then yesterday, like a really awful thing happened that I would be like fine with talking about but I'm going to start crying and I don't want to do that. Uh, it's the worst I've felt since 2022 when the war in Ukraine started which is where my family is. I've been re-traumatized by Russia all over again so if I seem off that's why but I do want to do this video. I'm not like pushing myself to do it by any means. I want a distraction and I'm really excited for this album. But yeah, I woke up today not feeling myself. I tried to fix my eyebrows. I don't have the right shade. I ran out of my NYX micro brow pencil thing. So I bought like a fill and fluff, whatever, because they didn't have my shade taupe in the pencil. So I bought the taupe fill and fluff and it's so freaking orange. I'm like struggling so bad right now. I feel like it looks so incredibly wrong. I won't know until I'm editing. But yeah, every time I look in the viewfinder, I'm like, that's not correct. That is is not correct and i don't know if it's the lighting it's just bad but i found out it does it does work as a pretty decent eyeliner so i might use it as that so it doesn't have to go to waste things are rough right now man i think that's all i need to say yeah my makeup feels wrong please be nice i started crying as i was doing it so i decided to just quit while i'm ahead this has been probably like the worst month and a half of my life i'm excited to be posting more youtube videos let's just get distracted with this record please <laughs> put me out of my misery i don't think there was a single song that was released prior to it actually dropping so that's exciting. I kind of like when artists do that because it's like makes for a really fun reaction video to be completely blindsided. I can't see her deviating from her sound that much though. This is only her third full album. There's only 10 songs. I hear Lunch is gonna be on there, which I think we've all heard. The little snippets. Thank God she actually released lyric videos the day of because I was struggling with the tortured poets department. I can't stop myself from reading ahead. And if I can't find lyrics on Genius, I'm just like auditory processing, struggling. <laughs> Have no idea what she's saying, so. Okay, a soft guitar moment. This reminds me of I Love You. I'm gonna listen mostly through my headphones because she's such a headphone artist. Oh my God, the guitar is so warm. None of these songs better make me cry because in my emotional state right now, I would not be able to take another Everybody Dies, let's just say. Oh my god, that high note. People think I look happy just because I got skinny. The lyrics, but the old me is still me and maybe the real me. And I think she's pretty. This is such a breathy, vulnerable opener. I really like this chord. That little one, the like Scooby. The harmonies, the harmonies. Oh my God, the bass just came in. My acting my age, I'm getting older. This is such a parallel to the opener from the last album. I was your secret and you didn't get to keep it. That kind of reminds me of those people that get all like pretentious and weird. Like, oh, this artist used to be like underground and like our little secret and now she's mainstream or whatever. That's like awful to only like someone when they're not successful. The internet is hungry for the meanest kind of funny and somebody's gotta feed it. Did she have some kind of weird controversy? Was she memed? I don't remember if she was. The violins. Oh my God. Okay, vocals. I feel like there's gonna be some weird switch up like with Happier Than Ever. I don't know, I'm bracing myself for it. She sounds a little angry now, like I never did you wrong. My patience is gone, but she's still got this angelic voice. Bridgerton? There's like a whole minute left of the song. If it's just gonna be violins, I'm gonna be so happy. Just gonna sit in this peacefully. That's so pretty. That's a whole orchestra. Cello, mm. It's like a lullaby. Yep, that outro is like a whole minute long and it's beautiful. Oh, she's doing that thing where she, hold on. That's gonna be the beginning of the next track, isn't it? It is, isn't it? I'm so excited. Lunch is the next one, oh my God, okay. Yep, I knew it. I'm not ready. The bass line. Oh, oh, that guitar. That one. Oh my god. I'm obsessed. I really like the juxtaposition. Of such a vulnerable opener, and then we get right into this like groovy, sassy Billy again. This is so wild. This is so wild. Oh my god. The verse is 
crazy unhinged. This is wow. That reminds me of Sweet by Hosier. Oh my gosh. She's in her sugar mommy era. I'll run a shower for you like you want. Clothes on the counter. Whatever. She bought her clothes. If I'm allowed, I'll help you take them off. Okay, gentlewoman. The piano. There it is. I like that like nice cute piano juxtaposed with those kind of lyrics. You need a seat, I'll volunteer, Billy. <laughs> She's the headlights, I'm the deer, and then the tire squealing that goes from one side to the other. I love Phineas. I want him to work with more big artists. I think he worked with Halsey for a second there. We need more. We need more Phineas. Do you know how to bend is crazy. Oh, Phineas does this thing a lot with her voice where like it like, da -da -da -da. like I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> She I don't know if it's coming, picking up through the laptop speakers. It's like, I think he did that on Bury a Friend. Okay. What a last chorus. The bass line is insane. That's crazy. Okay. A cool bass line again. What is this about? I'm grooving. I feel like I've heard this before. That melody sounds really familiar. The vocals. It's so breathy and controlled. Wow, that head voice is crazy. This makes me unsettled. I like this thing in the background. Whatever it is, some synth. This is such an intense soundscape. Wow, this song is five minutes long. This outro is gonna be really long too, isn't it? Like it'll be just this for a while. I like the electric guitar. Oh my God, Phineas is singing, isn't he? I hear his voice. It feels like it's getting more frantic. Towards the end, she's like yelling some stuff, but it's so muted and blended with the production. Interesting chords. I think I like this one a lot. It's so catchy. This is like finally like a happy, well lunch was definitely happy. This one's really sweet. You're so full of shit. Tell me it's a bit. Your mind's polluted. I like that line. I like this percussion. A little Morocco vibe. I love the drums. The vocals. This might be my favorite one so far. I really appreciate all the vocal layering she and Phineas do. There's a thing with her voice. I can't tell if it's her voice or like a brass. Is that a brass instrument or is that her voice? That's so cool. So at the very end of it had like a crinkly record scratch thing. Is that how the next one's gonna start? It does. That's crazy. Is every single one of these songs doing that? And I just haven't noticed for a couple. She was your girl who showed her the world. This kind of reminds me of your power. Also, her voice is so hypnotic. I feel like I could fall asleep. July? This chord. This chord is crazy. Ooh. The ooze. Hypnotic. There's so many cool like little pieces in this, like bass lines and like piano, vocal layering again. The attention to detail. It sounds subtle and like such a sparse song, but it's just not when you really look at it. Yes, drums. That's what I wanted. She's really taking like a jazzy influence on some of these. This is like gospel -y almost. Who does this remind me of? Is it Nora Jones? But it's got her like rocky, edgy flair to it, like right here. It's still Billy, it's just like, she's been influenced by someone new this time around. I think she's singing something about a hotel, but I, there's no lyrics on the video at this point. It was doing that thing where her voice was blending into the production again. Ooh, that last guitar strum. Wait, there's still so much left of the song. Country? Is this, this is the intro to the next one, obviously. Maybe? Oh no, she's still going. Valentine's Day crying in the hotel. There it is. I thought he didn't mean to hurt me, so I kept it to myself. 
what's going on here? She's angry at someone for breaking her heart, maybe? But then she either talks about herself in the third person or there's like a second girl in the song. What's going on? I need to look at the lyrics individually and not while I'm listening because like I was so overwhelmed by the soundscape. I can't think of the lyrics at the same time. This is so pretty. I'm trying my best. That reminds me of Invisible Strength. <laughs> Billy is quite a people pleaser. We see that not just in certain ways with like lunch, but like this. I'm trying my best to keep you satisfied. Let you get your rest while I stayed up all night. That's what dating a snorer is like. Just saying. I love this melody and the harmonies. All the times I waited for you to want me naked. Wait, like just for you to like, that's the only thing he wants from her and not like any kind of emotional connection or commitment. That thing she does. That like diction. I love when she does that. Yeah, this is jazzy. This drum that just came in. Nora Jones, I think is what I'm getting. The guitar is getting crazy. Hectic. Oh, it's getting intense. I need to listen to this in my headphones. That's crazy. Cathartic. Is this this album's happier than ever? Just wanted what I gave you. I just wanted you to give me the same thing in return. You could have been the greatest. Man. The disappointment in that delivery of that line. I'd hate to be on the receiving end of that. That was a whirlwind. Oh, it's like... It's like it's snazzy. I don't think that's a word. Some of these remind me also of Billy Bossa Nova. I told you a lie. What did you say? I said you. You what? Mm, I knew it. The way she dragged us out with that you, the teasing. We're like, what? What lie did you tell? This is sarcastic and playful. Oh my god, player Billy. No more people pleasing from her. The melody. I love this melody. This, is it a pre-chorus? You said you'd never fall in love because of me, then you moved on. Oh man. Immediately. <laughs> Do you? The pity. Oh, that was a lie. Yep. It's still so like mellow though and like fun. Not fun. It's still such a mellow, relaxing sound. Even with the sassiness going on lyrically. Oh, I thought it was the end. We have like two minutes left. That was weird. That was so final. The like, you weren't mine. It's like realizing it in hindsight. Whatever's happening at this point reminds me of Seven. Is that what it's called? Like really distorted vocals. Why is this beat? What's happening? Where are we going? This is an experience. BDM experimentation? It was so mediocre. We are so glad it's over now. Is this her talking about herself? Or is this a second girl that she's like, you know, where you like get with the girl your mans was cheating on you with? What a trip. It's getting faster. Wait, what are the lyrics? The girl's on camera. Your girl's a fan of Miss Me. Say you miss me. What? It's such a pity we're both so pretty. I feel like I just got whiplash. I really like these titles. Like, I'm so intrigued. This is circusy. French? Okay. This one's snagging me more than any of the others did. Is this gonna be my favorite? Other than lunch. It's got that creepiness to it. Don't call the cops, they'll make me stop. And I just wanna talk. You could be my wife. I could get into a fight, I'll say you're right, and you'll kiss me goodnight. Oh my. I waited on the corner until I saw the sitter leave. The looking for something to eat feels very intentional, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> This, what is this a bass line? Wild. Two fifty thousand dollar bail? Bring a veil and come visit me in jail? That's so crazy. The diner, here we go. The cop villainization. This is my favorite one. It's unhinged. I memorized your number, now I call it when I please. Three ten eight oh seven thirty nine fifty six. What? She didn't just leak someone's number. The whispering of the number. This is an experience. 
Okay, weirdness. Ooh, that's kind of cool. The music. The little d -d 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 things that you can only hear through the headphones. That's wild. Maybe they'll pick up. I hear them a little. D -d 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 I love the surging of this. It's got a bounciness to it. Where is this going? Where am I? I never know where she's going with anything. Remember when somebody said oh, one of the songs off the last album sounds like Kahoot music? This actually kind of does, but this time it feels intentional and also way more like Kahoot music. All the E's in my dream have a once a week, everything I've seen. That's so cool. The piano. It's somewhere there. Dun dun. Wherever. why i've never filled the void out of spite you seem so paralyzed it's so romanticized the piano so catchy and pretty she's like whispering something in the background is she laughing that's like demonic So cool. What is this closer gonna be? I feel like the end of each song is a hint at the next one. Hmm. Okay, last one. Blue's my favorite color. I'm excited. This reminds me of something she's done before, but I can't figure out what it is. Lovely? Mm, I don't know if it's that one. Birds of a feather. She title dropped. Is this gonna be like a uh, summary of all the songs? I think she's done that before. And when we all fall asleep, where do we go? I told you a lie. Yep, open up the door. The ooze. It's so pretty. She's doing that transition thing again. I'm scared. We were born bluer than a butterfly? Beautiful and so deprived of oxygen. That's crazy. Colder than your father's eyes? I feel like these are some of the best lyrics, at least based on what I've paid attention to when I wasn't overwhelmed with the production. Nap time again, man. Not like in a boring way, but just, man, she is so soothing. Her voice is so hypnotic and all the layering. It almost sounds like she's underwater. Victim of your father's plans to rule the world? Who's this about? Born blameless? That's such interesting alliteration. That background noise. The violins. I love the orchestral stuff. I heard this. Wow, that is beautiful. I love that. Anyways, that's so beautiful. As I listen to this outro through the headphones, I just want to say I heard this album was inspired by Studio Ghibli, which is really interesting. I've only seen like a couple movies, like a couple times, but man, I need to look into the lore. Like what exactly she's doing? Maybe the orchestral stuff? Yeah, for sure. Wow. A bunch of the comments say like true blue stands. Like, how does it feel? Literally screamed out loud. True blue, like a Madonna reference? I don't think that's right. Huh, that's going over my head. But wow. So final thoughts, I love lunch and the diner. I need to re-listen, especially when I'm in a better state of mind in general, but this was so relaxing and what I needed because Happier Than Ever was a little bit too much of an emotional roller coaster. So I'm glad we didn't get something quite like that, even though I love that album. This is more relaxing, thank God. I love what she's experimenting with and it's a little bit different, but she is still sticking to what we know from her. So that's definitely appreciated and probably a smart move to not like isolate fans who've been there for a while. She's still weird and she's still a little bit demonic and like. I love that. Yeah, those are my two standout tracks. I'm kind of surprised it's only 10 songs. It's a 45 minute long album or maybe even a little bit less, which is wild. I wonder if there will be bonus tracks. I feel like there might be later on. I don't know. How do we feel about that? I would love to hear all your thoughts down below and which are your favorite songs. And yeah, if you want to follow me on my Instagram, it's right here. And if you want to follow me on my TikTok, that is right here. I will see you all very soon for another Tortured Poets video. And I'm probably going to go cry now. <laughs>
This was a really good distraction. I like the music. I feel good filming, so there's that. And I hope you guys have a much better week, month, day than I've been having. Bye, guys. Bye.